Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's me, Tazaya One, with another one through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to say double honors to the apostles, my elders. Much love to all you brethren out there that trust in and have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to go right into it. This is uh, Psalms 10 and 1. It says, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> This is the prayer of King David, all right? And it's a song, all right? An actual song, which were songs of prophecies, all right? Especially for the times that we're in right now, because as we know, we are at the end of our enemy's rule. You know, no, all this bullshit, all this tribulation that we're going through, especially the hopeful elect, you know, all the hell that we go through, and all, all this bullshit, which is all bullshit. You know, we have to, we're, we're supposed to be going through this, you know? Because we, we're paying for our sins, you know. Our right, as the scripture says, our righteousness is as filthy rags. So all this bullshit, and, and, and you know, and the times we in right now, you notice, man, the the, the volume, the, the satanic volume is turned up, you know. So that's why we got to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because He's the only one. All right, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. All right, through His Father. Or should I say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? In the name of Yahweh Shai is our only way out of this hellhole. He, that's our savior. You know, that's who we trust in. All right, so this is uh, Psalms 10 and 1. It says, Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? And it seems like the Lord is hiding himself away from us, but really he's not. Because when you when you're watching, as the scripture says, watch as well as pray. You see all these prophecies happening, man. You see the skirmishes amongst the nations in the world. The United States in the middle of all of that. Why? Because the United States in the Bible is Babylon the Great. The so-called white men or the so-called white race, the true, they are the Edomites. All right? The people, all right? Start with the elites on down. <clears throat> Those are the Edomites. And... We're at the end of their rule, all right? From their top from their top elites on down. It says, and they're also known as the wicked. That's Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who controls the earth? The so-called white men, which we don't, you know, his true name, his true nationality in the Bible. They are the Edomites, all right? It says the wicked, it says the wicked, let me go back up again. It says, why standest thou far afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thy why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? And like I said, the Lord is not hiding himself. Because the prophecies are singing right now. Alright? They're getting ready to, to crash this dollar. Alright, everybody, all of a sudden, everybody trying to make that paper. You know, you got Jake's, you know, certain Negroes, you know. And, and of the tribes, Latinos, Native Americans, but primarily you Negroes. You got a lot of Negroes that all of a sudden now they see the light. They're trying to pull their heads out the nigger woman's ass. It was jammed up in there so long. So now you have you have a you have a fraction of them that's calling themselves pull um pulling their heads from out the nigger woman's ass and and chase after their purpose. First of all, you don't even know what your purpose is, man. Our purpose, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you what the purpose is. Because a lot of y'all think that the purpose is to find your little niche in this in this so-called white man's kingdom. First of all, this is the wicked, this is a wicked ass kingdom, first of all, run by the devil, all right? And it's and it's about to be destroyed. So the purpose you're looking for ain't there, man. This is the true purpose. This is our true purpose. All right. This is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the purpose right here. Hear the conclusion. This is the conclusion of the whole matter, man. Okay. It says, fear the heavenly father. All right. Fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Because 
first of all, in this time that we're in, it's important that you're going to learn of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, because that's our Savior. All right, of, 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 of the Israelites. Who are the Israelites? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites. All right, first of all, you got to know who you are. Then you got to know that the destruction is coming and our only way out is through the blood of Yahweh Shai, all right, who the Heavenly Father has sent, Yahweh Shai, the mediator. And by the way, and the world ignorantly calls him Jesus Christ, and he's a black man, according to the Bible. The Israelites are black. The tribe of Judah are black people. The real Jews are the blacks, all right? We're going to keep pushing that. I don't care what no large nostril guy want to say. Because right now, they got a whole lot of... They're trying to... Re, they, they, right now, the big nostril people, which they're Edomites, all right? They're they're of Amalek, of the nation of Edom, all right? The ones that are controlling everything right now, the ones who we can't talk about, all right? They're the Amalekites. And right now, right now, they're working triple time, reinforcing all their lies. But their whole shit is falling apart right now. All right, so we're living in a time of great prophecy because we've seen all these things happening. So anyway, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the heavenly father and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man, not looking for your purpose, trying to make it in the so-called white man's kingdom. The so-called white man's kingdom is about to fall like a deck of cards, man. For the heavenly father shall bring every work into judgment with every secret, <coughs> with every secret thing, and that includes the Illuminati. All right, but but more so of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. All right, for the Heavenly Father shall bring every work into judgment. And that's mainly talking about our people, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Because I ain't talking about the so-called white man, because they don't do anything. Esau can't do good. They weren't created that way. All right. So back to um, Psalms 10th chapter. It says, so it says, Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked, which is the Edomites, all right, the so called white men, all right. The wicked, uh, what's that, Malachi, the first chapter, when you read down, it tells you Esau or Edom shall be known as the border of wickedness, right? It says the wicked in his pride, and they are pride. They are proud. Well, how are they proud? They, well, starting with their elites, they think that their new world order is going to be a success. Everything is going according to plan, right? But even down to the lower luminaries and the lower, the lower um, Edomites, they, they think that they're going to keep what they have. And they're in, in, in their pride, they really believe that you so-called Negroes are going to be extinct. That's their hope. It's followed by the Latinos and Native Americans, because the, the elites know who we are, that we are the people of the Heavenly Father. But there's no prophecy that says all Israel is going to be destroyed. All right. Because. Um, um, matter of fact, a brother put this on the comment board, the scripture where it says, if you uh, I think it's in Jeremiah. Where it says, um that if if they were able to search out the seas or the heavens right if they're able to search out all the heavens or all of outer space and search out the depths of the seas then we then israel shall be no more a nation paraphrasing all right um if a brother watching this just, just put it up on the comments Bakusha, the water so in advance so anyway it says for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire which is that new world order let me go back a verse, Salakia. The wicked in his pride doth pros the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Now, who are the poor? The Israelites, starting with the elect. How right now we're being per how are they persecuting the poor right now in this present time? Well, one of one of the things I should say, because there's many ways that they're persecuting us. One way is through the um the housing right now. All the rents are sky high. The average rent right now in the U.S. average is like $1,600 a month, right? But then they tell you, oh, the minimum wage is $18 now. You can't hack $1,500 a month on $18 an hour. 
So that's that's one of their ways of squeezing you, man, and persecuting. It says, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined, right? Because they plan to destroy us. So King David is praying to the Lord that the way they're trying to destroy us, let that happen to them. All right. Showing you that the showing that King David, all right, knows that the Lord destroys the evil and, and puts up the good of nations. The so-called white man, the Lord hate them as a nation. The nation of Edom. And King David is praying to the Lord to destroy them. He's not praying to the Lord to forgive them and to hopefully we can all get along. You ain't find you're not finding that you're not finding that Martin Luther King philosophy bullshit in the Bible because it's not biblical. As a matter of fact, it's satanic because the Lord didn't mean for all everybody to get together and be one. Otherwise, why create nations? But anyway, it says. Verse three, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, that new world, ultimately the new world order, and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through his, through the pride of his co continence will not seek after the heavenly father. Right now they're getting rid of the Bibles. They're telling you there's no God. Only the only Satan will do that. That's why they're passing laws. There's laws being passed right now in the Western, in the, in the West, all right, where if you teach the Bible publicly, they'll lock you up. That's all prophet. That's all prophecy. That's showing you who the wicked is. The wicked, through the pride of his continence, will not seek after the heavenly Father. The heavenly Father is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. They're the so-called white men don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. They, that's why they teach you that two men can get married, two women can get married. Don't spank your kids. Let your kids let your kids rule the household. If the kids feel the parents are too strict on them, call this hotline so we can lock your parents up. Only the devil come up with shit like that, man. In his kingdoms, animals like cats and dogs got more power. Than human beings. Only the devil would do that. Only Satan would do that. So it says. His ways are always grievous. All his laws. All right. Are grievous to us. And the, and the judgments of the heavenly father. Is far above. All right. Far above him. Thy judgments are far above. Out of his sight. As for all his enemies. He puffeth at them. Right. That's why they're puffing at these nations right now, right? Over there in Israel, they tell they're warning the Arab nations to stand down or else, you know? It's a big standoff going on right now. But we know what's gonna ultimately happen. What's gonna happen is those Arab nations, namely Iran and other, they're gonna fire missiles on that land over there of Israel. All right, that's according to the biblical prophecy. It's gonna be wiped out by thermonuclear fire. All right. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. Yeah, this devil really thinks he's not going to be moved. For I shall never be in adversity. But that's where he's totally wrong. Because adversities are, are mo adversities twofold are coming for this place and coming for this devil. And two thirds of our own people, the ones of our people that trust in the so-called white men, you're going to be caught up in there too. The ones that don't come back to Yahweh by Shib Yahweh Shai. All right. And the other nations. You know? Hey, but with that, I'm, I'm going to cut it here because um, I'm running out of time on this camera. I got I to do something with this phone. It's about to cut. So, with that for now, I'm going to say Shalom, Yahweh by Shib Yahweh Shai, break a thumb. And I'm going to come back with the next one, Lord willing, shortly. Shalom.